We have new details in a horrific crash in Alpharetta this week that killed three teenagers and injured two more. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm tells us this tragedy has really shaken the community there in North Fulton County. Five 18 year olds were in the car that crashed, two of them about to graduate from Alpharetta High School. Three others had just finished their freshman year of college. I spoke with a mom in the community who came here to the Alpharetta Police Department for a news conference to try to learn more. I haven't slept. Uh, I have not slept. Magna Nike says her children used to play cricket with one of the teenagers who died in Tuesday's crash on Westside Parkway in Alpharetta. Though the community is grieving, she worries that in a matter of months, people might forget about what happened. Just because it's not your child today does not mean a thing. And I have children myself. Lieutenant Jason Hyatt of the Alpharetta Police Department tells us investigators are trying to figure out what caused the driver to lose control of the car, which struck some trees and came to rest upside down. There was nothing at the scene um, to to show to immediately make us uh, think that alcohol was a factor in this. However, again, I do want to want to mention that the investigation is ongoing. He says speed was likely a factor. When you're driving on the roadway, that is one of the most dangerous things that any of us are going to do on a day to day basis. Knight came to the news conference in part to let police officers know she plans to urge other parents to use the tragedy as a teaching tool. It's going to be a lot of beach parties, a lot of pool parties. I don't know what's going to be involved in that, but everybody's going to go home in a car. Respect it, respect like it could be a weapon. It could take lives, and that's exactly what happened. She says before this, she never wore a seat belt when she was in the back seat, but she says hearing that one of the victims may have been ejected, she will now, and she urges others to do the same. In Alpharetta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.